Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another advent calendar unboxing. If you're new, I'm Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights, and I am very excited that you've joined me today. If that's you and you've not been to my channel before, please can I ask that you hit subscribe and you ring the bell. You need to do it right now. If you like advent calendar unboxings, I have so many lined up and some very exclusive ones coming too, and it's the only way of making sure you are notified with a notification in your inbox as soon as I upload my video so you won't miss a single one. If you don't already, also please follow me over on Instagram. There's loads of behind the scenes stuff that you get to see about advent calendars over there and if you're on TikTok please give me a follow there I'll link both at the top I'm brand new to TikTok so I would love it if you'd come out and hang out with me over there as well today we're going to be unboxing the next advent calendar for 2022 and I am so excited about this one guys I cannot tell you this was in my top five last year and you guys loved it as well I feel like they nailed it so I have very high hopes for this one and so many of you have been asking me to review this one so as as I possibly could I got my hands on it and here we are. Now the details about this calendar it costs £85 and the value of contents inside is over £309 and it's a 25 day calendar. Like I've said in some of my other videos this season I feel like brands know that they have to do 25 days. There's been a few where they've done 24 and everyone's a bit like hmm I feel like we expect more and we want our value for money, especially with the cost of living being so high. So it takes a lot to impress me with advent calendars and I do have really high hopes for this one. If you didn't already shop at Next Beauty, they stock so many amazing brands now. So I have very high expectations that it could be better than last year. And like I said, last year was in my top five. So let's unbox it. Let's see what's inside and hopefully you guys will like it. Hopefully I will like it. Let's dive into the unboxing. Okay, so the calendar looks like this. It's pink with lots of rose gold. We've got a lovely big looking day 25 right there. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna go right ahead. Day number one now. Okay, we've got a full size MAC lipstick. This is the shade Twig. It is like the cult product in terms of like nude brown tone lipsticks from MAC and it's full size guys. We love to find that and that is a great, really strong start I think for a full size and a brand like MAC as we're starting. And like I said, Twig, one that I already have in my collection and will always use it's the perfect autumnal and winter shade I think you guys are gonna love it up here today number two now and it's hiding at the back of the drawer I can't get it out okay we've got the Clinique moisture surge this is the 100 hour auto replenishing hydrating moisturizer it is a 15 mil it's like the little kind of deluxe travel size mini size that you get it is a really good size I've used this moisturizer before it's very rich does it give a hundred hours worth of moisturization I'm not sure I'm not convinced but it's definitely a really good moisturizer to put on in the morning I wouldn't necessarily use it as a night moisturizer but great for starting your day strong lots of hydration lots of moisture in there another really good one okay day number three now this one's not coming out what is this oh my gosh I'm so happy we have got Bath and Body Works, you guys know how much I love my Bath and Body Works. I've done videos on it on my channel before, lots on Instagram. I used to spend a small fortune shipping Bath and Body Works products over from the US before they finally launched in Next. It was like the best day of my life. I'm not even gonna exaggerate on that. We've got the Japanese Cherry Blossom Fine Fragrance Mist. It's a 75 mil. This is a lovely scent. I actually have the hand soap of this in my bathroom right now. I use it every day. It's not floral. You think it's gonna be floral. It's got a real nice cherry almond scent to it with a slight floral tint so if like me you're not big on floral scents I know you're gonna love it day number four now okay and we've got a beauty pro rose infused sheet mask this has got rose chamomile and seaweed in I've actually used this before it's really nice always my biggest tip with sheet masks and under eye masks put them in the fridge for five to ten minutes before you put them on they're so cold like at first you put it on and you're like oh but it's actually a really refreshing way of using a sheet mask it just amplifies that relaxation time um, and this one is the plant-based range as well so you don't need to worry about too many of the ingredients inside either day number five now in here we have got the Estee Lauder advanced night repair this is the little seven mil bottle this is a really lovely night serum I've used this before I'm quite like I mix up my serums a lot there's some things in my regime that I don't ever change or don't change very often but a serum is one that I will quite happily try different ones of it's fantastic for anti-aging is where I would say it's primarily best if you're under 30 probably not the serum for you but over 30 your skin will absolutely drink it up okay day number six now we have got the Moroccan oil Moroccan oil treatment oh my gosh the smell of this if you've never smelt the Moroccan oil products they are divine it's like coconutty holiday vibe 
vibes but so nice this is the 25 mil and it is a great treatment for fine thin hair now if you don't have fine or thin hair you can still use it as a lovely nourishing treatment but I think you're going to get the most out of it if like me you've got fine hair because it doesn't weigh your hair down it's not one of those treatments that you put on and then the next day you've got flat hair it doesn't do that I really love it for that and it's very rich it does really make my hair feel like it's had like a drink a dose of TLC drink a drink slash dose of TLC I am a big fan of this and I've used it for years day number seven now and in here we've got the rituals this is the magic touch body cream in rice milk and cherry blossom the rice milk and cherry blossom scent from rituals is probably my favorite I'm not gonna lie I shouldn't have favorites <laughs> I should and I definitely do that is it now a body cream I do really like it says it's magic touch so I'm assuming it's really nice and soft and silky but I always put a nice body cream on or a body lotion when I get out of the shower at night just makes my legs especially feel really nice and soft when I go to bed so that is a 70 mil day number eight now in here we have got oh my gosh this is insane guys this is the Clarins total eye lift is this the full size? I think, I'm not sure if it's a full size, but it's a seven mil. I think that's the half size. But I know like the full size of this is like 54 pounds on its own. So even that is great. This is a fantastic under eye moisturizer. My under eye loves it. I think I've got it in a Next Beauty box actually, like in the Clarins exclusive one that they did. And oh my gosh, maybe I didn't actually. I can't remember where I got it. I got it in a box, but it's amazing. Great for anti-aging. Great if you're showing signs of fine lines and wrinkles, or even if you've just got dark undry bags and it's Clarins in an advent calendar. Day number nine is down here now and we have got a pixie highlighter in the shade peachy glow it's like a really really strong gold now I probably wouldn't be able to use this on my cheeks because it's too gold for me and I'm so fair but actually if you've got a tan if you are a darker skin tone this would be lovely for you this would also be great like in the summer to put on your collarbones um, if you're like on holiday or your shoulder tips so again that's quite nice now it's day number 10 and we've got the Gatineau. This is the Radiance Enhancing Enzymatic Gommage. I don't know what that is, but I mean, the packaging's cool. It says, apply once or twice a week to dry skin, massage for one to two minutes until texture turns to liquid, rinse with water and your complexion will appear brightened and your skin radiant. Okay, it's got an AHA and vitamin C in there. So it's basically an AHA acid type mask. It's gonna do all of those lovely things to leave your skin looking nice and radiant by stripping away anything that's blocking the top layer of the skin. And that is a 75 mil. Day 11 now. And in here, we've got the Alemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, one of my cult iconic products. So this is a great anti-wrinkle day cream. It's a great moisturizer if you are over 30, like I said, showing signs of aging, if you've got fine lines, if you've got wrinkles, if you just wanna have a moisturizer that makes you feel like you're working to kind of fill them and make them look less noticeable. It also adds a lot of hydration in there as well. So it also helps to combat any loss of hydration that your skin might naturally have. And because it's got collagen in there, it just replaces is that which also plumps those fine lines and wrinkles that is a 15 mil day number 12 now okay this one was so small I thought the box was empty we've got the Smashbox photo finish primer this is a 5 mil this is a sample size this is not like a travel size or a deluxe this is a sample size and I hate sample sizes in my calendars if you've watched me for the last four years that's what I say every time it really doesn't impress me because these you can pick up for free so I don't like that that is in there it's a lovely primer don't get me wrong I've used this primer on and off for years but that is not a good size. 13 now, and we have got the Lancome Genifique. This is the Youth Act Activating Concentrate. This is a seven mil. This is quite a pricey product on its own. Again, it's a great final stage skincare. So think of it like your serum or your oil or anything like that. It's targeted purely at anti-aging, but I guess if you wanted to use it and you're under 30 or you're not seeing signs of aging yet, you could, and it would just be great for hydration and intensely adding some richness into your regime. But typically I'd say for the over 30s. Moving on to day 14 now okay and in here we've got a really really good size of the Lancome dry skin hand cream this is the 20% shea butter one it's a 30 mil uh I said Lanc did I say Lancome I meant L'Occitane I, ca I can't even remember I'm losing my words it's L'Occitane guys it's L'Occitane um it's a lovely hand cream I keep all of the ones that I get 
and they are literally all over my house, guys. They're in practically every drawer, they're in my office, in all of my handbags, um, they are in my car, they are everywhere because it's such a lovely hand cream. It absorbs really fast and it's not greasy or sticky. It's one of the reasons I keep it in the car because if I need to moisturize my hands, it doesn't like make my hands feel sticky or like slippery on the steering wheel. So, and I love L'Occitane. Day number 15 now. Okay, we've got the By Terry Mini to go. This is the Balm de Rose. This is the tube version. You can get two versions of this product as you guys probably already know. Um, it is obviously the mini size as well, but it's By Terry, which is a premium product. Um, it is, you know, one of those nice ones. It's great for adding some a tiny little bit of shine to your lips, but it is a very nourishing balm. That rose in there as well always feels really lovely on the lip texture as well. So a good one to keep in your handbag when you're out and about. Day number 16 now. Okay, and in here we've got an Ico Spotlight Highlighter Pencil. These are great for using underneath the arch of your brow just to accentuate it and then use like a blending brush or something and to just blend it in and it will really add like that arch that we like underneath. Um, I think that that's full size and this is the shade Pearl. Day 17 now. Okay, and in here we've got a beautiful nail zinc nail polish which is actually almost exactly the same as the shade that I'm already wearing. The shade is Belgravia Road love the colour, love it. I love a good nail polish, especially when it's not one that I'm not going to use. This is a very usable one for me. I would totally use this, so I do quite like that one. Day number 18 now. Okay, and in here we've got the Emma Hardy Brilliance Facial Oil. This is a 5ml. Again, another lovely product that you want to use in your final stage of skincare. I have used it. This size is a 5ml, so it's it's kind of like a third of the normal size, I think. Is the, is the full size 15ml? I can't remember. But it's really nice and rich. Any age, I think, would benefit from using this. And I love that it's in a dropper bottle because it just helps you to get like the minimum amount that you need. It is a very rich oil, so a little bit does go a long way. Day number 19 now. In here we've got some Esper. This is the cleansing sorbet, the 15 mil. I have done a full review of this on my blog. I love it. It is gorgeous. It's the most lovely texture. It's a balm to oil, so you usually expect that kind of texture in a pot, but it is so lovely. You put a tiny little bit on, massage into the face. Not only does it cleanse, but it also takes all your makeup off. So if you don't have time to remove your makeup, before you cleanse, this is a great double whammy product. Doesn't hurt your eyes and does also remove eye makeup as well. I'm not sure whether that's supposed to, but it's very, very rich on the skin. Does melt like oil. It feels so relaxing um, and it's got that like satisfaction element as well when it melts all your makeup away. Day number 20 now. Okay, and in here we've got a little jar of the Pie Impossible Glow. This is the bronzing drops. Um, so these are basically, you can put them in your foundation to add some bronze to it. You can use it on its own for a liquid bronzer. It's very shimmery. It's got a really nice texture again it is a smaller version it's definitely not full size um, but it is a nice product if you like a really strong glow in your bronze like I need a matte bronzer and then I use highlight if I want to that's just my preference but if you like um, a bronzer and a highlighter together then you might like that time to look behind day 21 now and in here we've got some of the this works deep sleep pillow spray this is the 35 mil everybody knows this and I say the same thing every time I find this in a beauty box it is a great sleep mist if that's what you want but my biggest tip is to spray it on your pillows on your duvet spray it on your curtains and leave your window open just a very small amount leave the room shut the door for 10 minutes and come back in and the whole room will be nicely scented with that lovely lavender scent that is relaxing and it's supposed to help you sleep better that is how I recommend using it because you will get the absolute most out of it it amplifies like the way the mist works by just putting it everywhere really that you can do and 35 mil day 22 now okay we've got the floral street arizona arizona bloom fragrance this is the 10 mil eau de parfum i've actually got this um, in another one of these sizes and it's lovely like i said I don't like floral scents, but it is sultry, it's sexy, but also fresh. It's a great daytime perfume. Not sure I'd wear it for a nighttime perfume because it's not quite strong and sexy enough for me, but it is a lovely one. And I haven't actually kind of thought it's the sort of scent where I'll be like, some people will like it, some people won't. It's just very versatile and I do really like that. Day number 23 now. And we have got the iconic London eyeshadow palette. Oh, this is a little all eyeshadow quad and it is in most beautiful tones. They've got champagne chick there, which is my kind of lid color. You've got a whole eye look there. You can use bronze or champagne on your lid, then use the ultimate tan for your crease and then really smoke out with a deep sole. I love that. I think that's beautiful. And I feel like very, very, 
very usable like that's an everyday palette for me for sure day number 24 now and in here we have got the benefit bad girl bang mascara it's one of the um, three gram ones the little ones it's a lovely mascara i have it in full size i do admit that I am a mascara snob. It takes a lot to impress me with a mascara. If you've ever seen me talk about mascaras on my channel or read my blog, then you know it takes a lot to impress me, but it's a nice everyday one. Is it the best one from Benefit? No, but it's still a good everyday one. It doesn't clump, it doesn't rub under the eyes, and it does come off nicely at the end of the day as well. So good for, you know, all round. Okay, I'm so excited to see what's behind day 25, the last day. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, this is nice. It's ending on a nice note. We've got the Neom. This is the Real Luxury. This is the Scent to De-Stress Candle. One of my favourite candles from Neom. It is the most beautiful scent. I absolutely adore it. It's so relaxing. I love it. It is the little travel size one wick. Um, it's got very much like a lavender note. It's got chamomile in there. It's got jasmine, Brazilian rosewood. It's very sultry, very sexy. It is a lovely one to have. And it ended the day, well, it ended the calendar's last day really nicely. So guys, there we have it. That is the next beauty advent calendar for 2022 unboxed. What do you guys think about this one? Please leave me your thoughts in the comments right now. Let me know what you think. Okay, so what do I think? Now, like I said, I've unboxed calendars for four years. It takes a lot to impress me and I do like it, I'm going to go in with that but I think there's only one full size which was the Mac that we started with I think everything else is travel size or mini or sample um, and it is an £85 calendar it's you know it's not quite £100 but it's still a significant spend for there to only be one full size I guess the mask as well but in terms of brands and product variation I think they've nailed it I think it's fantastic for that we've got so many of my favourite brands in there so many lovely brands Bath & Body Works in there love 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 that a Lemis the Neon Candle I really liked as well Clarins, we've got Espa, so many brands and I feel like there's really good product variation. The skincare felt a little bit anti-aging heavy but I'm okay with that because I'm 34 so I need all the help I can get to fight those fine lines and wrinkles. Um, but other than that the product variation is good, we've got, we've got makeup, we've got skincare, we have got fragrance, we've got room fragrance, so we've got a little bit of tanning, does this count as tanning maybe? So I feel like it's a really good mix. Um, do we have any hair? I don't think we do. No hair, nothing for hair, but everything else is a pretty good mix. So I do think it's a lovely calendar. I think there's a lot of competition in the 85 pound, 100 pound mark this year. So I feel like you need to be doing a little bit better than one full size product in there. But products wise, I feel like so many of you are actually gonna really like this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye.